This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT science question. This question is asking us somewhat a little bit, something a little bit complicated, but we basically have to remember what would scientist one say and what would scientist two say. So this question is saying that neither this archaeobacteria nor eubacteria have eu nuclei, but eukaryotes do. Archaeobacteria are anaerobes and eubacteria are aerobes, and the two groups are genetically distinct. Scientist two would say, okay, so this is complicated, but we don't really care about any of this information. It's just added stuff to confuse you. We just want to make sure that our answer choices are going to be consistent with what scientist two would say. So we don't want to choose any viewpoints coming from scientist one or that would directly contradict scientist two's argument. So remember that scientist two's argument is that organisms did not evolve from a common ancestor versus uh, scientist one says that all species shared a common ancestor. So let's make sure we're keeping with constant with this. It's choice one. The Darwinian genetic tree doesn't apply to the lowest life forms. So we don't talk about, uh, scientist one talks a lot about Darwin, but scientist two doesn't. So this isn't gonna, something, it's probably something that scientist two wouldn't bring up because scientist one's idea is that everything evolved from a common ancestor and Darwin's genetic tree proves this. But that's gonna go against scientist two's beliefs. Choice two, genetic diversification began to occur in the earliest life forms and differences among the descendants of a single ancestral prokaryote predispose them to survive in different environments. This is something that scientist one would say. So differences um, in evolution from a single ancestor would allow different adaptations. But scientist two is trying to say that there is no single ancestor, so that's not good. Choice number three. This supports evolution from several separate ancestors, which is exactly what scientist two is trying to prove in this entire passage that organisms did not evolve from a common ancestor. So that's gonna be the best in keeping with scientist two's leanings. And choice three, different HLAs evolved from three separate progenotes. So that's probably true when we talk about the antigen HLA, but that's not scientist two's main point. So that's probably not what he'd use to counter. So choice three is our best answer.